Hey everybody. So today I want to show you a tool. It's a free tool that I found just messing around looking uh, for different stuff. And I read some of the reviews and they were pretty good. And so I figured I would show it on here uh, for the people that develop uh, families all the time because this is a uh, a fam or this uh, tool sits in the family editor and allows you to do a few things. And so I figured I would share it in case it was uh, helpful for some of you. So um, this is the 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 description page uh, for this tool, and so um, it's called Family Editor Interface. It's by Archalyzer, and then uh, there's some a description and some um, stuff on kind of what's going on uh, with uh, with this tool and how to use it. So uh, it is up to date. So I'm using Revit 2022. Uh, so that's nice. And then there's a lot of information here who the creator is, um, and then. If you need other info, it's it's up here as well, uh, and it'll just drag you down to the different spots. So check this out if you want to learn more. You'll find that in the description below. Um, so I'll show you this tool, and I'm I'm right now I'm in a family, which you can also um, um, check below. There's a OneDrive link where you'll find the resources for this video along with all all the others. Hopefully, in the future, I can move it move everything to GitHub so it's a little bit easier for you. But um, you can find the video or find the um, uh, this uh, Revit family in there, and this Revit family is called Host Fam because uh, it has a nested family in it. So just to be clear, I named it Host Fam, and then in, and in that nested family, I called Nested Fam. And so uh, in both of these, in this uh, this nested family, there's a couple types, and then in this. Um, in this host family, there's a couple types as well. And then I'm going to delete these real quick because I'll show you guys uh, some of the tools. Uh, tools that um, Archalyzer has uh, that allows you to pull in uh, parameters. So those were parameters that were pulled in from the nested family. And I'll show you that, that part uh, in a little bit. So here uh, is the the um, add-in and here's the buttons that we get uh, and we've got a family editor interface button so this is a, a just a pretty simple UI and I actually like it a, a lot and I think at least for my purpose and how I develop families because I don't develop them that often and they're usually one-off instances where I've got to model something pretty unique um, I think this would be pretty helpful for me just to have this interface off on the side or somewhere and then able to easily flex these parameters so um, and then you can expand it and you can see that it uh, locks over to the side and then um, there's a um, so these are tags here because there's a couple options down here to, to do a few things but if we turn on tags you can see here uh, that there is a parameter uh, or the parameter is used in a formula and so the inner inner radius or the inner radius uh, um, parameter takes a uh, it's using uh, the outer radius uh, in the formula and, and it's just remove or it's just um, subtracting one foot so you can see this is 12 feet so if we actually move this around it won't do anything since it's dependent on the outer radius but if we move this you'll see that it shifts the um, the uh, circle and then um, so there's a few things down here we've got the tags that we can turn on and off and see information like is it the parameter is used in a label um, parameter is either associated used as a label or used in the formula um, or just just in general it's in use um, and then we can turn on editable parameters. Uh, you can see that these are built in. Um, turn off uh, parameters that aren't editable. And then um, delete all unused parameters. I don't know how useful that is, but if I guess if you have a whole bunch of parameters um, and you know that you can delete them, it'd be pretty useful. And then this will actually shuffle your parameters. So it'll change the, the inputs, uh, kind of randomize them. So that's kind of interesting. If we click on that, you'll see that it changed um, our our sliders there. So, anyways, um, that's this this U UI. It's pretty simple, and 
and I've only got a few parameters in here but when you have a whole bunch you can flex them and change things so it's kind of interesting it you know I saw some good reviews on it and and there was there was people that were using it for for years now again this is from a perspective or at least my my perspective or my review of this tool is from um, you know I'm somebody that doesn't build families on a daily uh, not even weekly um, you know I get them once in a while so I know there's people with their own processes when it comes to developing families this may fit in it may not but I figured I would share um, just to see if it uh, you know if you didn't know about it maybe this can can help you out so that's um, you know this is the the UI there's a couple other buttons here that allow, <clears throat> that allow you to do um, other things so if we hover over these you can see this associates parameters this uh, pushes parameters from this host family into the nested family and this pulls parameters from the the nested family into the host so it'll actually pull the nested or the uh, families into the host it'll create um, and I'll just show you an example so if we go here family types it'll create so those two parameters I deleted it'll create those parameters now what what it doesn't do um, which uh, might be a bug or it just wasn't built into it was that if you pull parameters uh, because when you want to associate parameters sometimes you want to um, map them up uh, properly so if it's a type parameter and the, the the nested family then a type parameter and the the host family and so uh, in here it actually doesn't recognize that so I um, will click on this and then if I do edit type you'll see that this is a here this is a type parameter and this is a instance parameter now if we go back to this add-in and we go uh, pull parameters now it wants us to select the nested family so we just select on that and then now what we can do is click uh, the the parameters we want and if we do um, shift and then click um, we can select multiple parameters pull those in you'll see that they successfully were pulled in and then what we can do is associate those parameters and the way that this works uh, from my understanding is it associates uh, it tries to find the parameters with the same name and it makes that association so it'll default like the default elevation it will associate those two parameters if it exists in the nested family and in the host family and so I'll associate it again you pick the nested uh, family I'm gonna ignore that one you'll say you'll see that it's, it's successfully associated the two that we just brought in but also the default elevation parameter which in this case is fine I mean as long as you, you know it, it it's not fine if you have to change the elevation of the host but not the nested family I guess but um, I guess it depends on, on <coughs> the functionality of the family itself um, but for this instance not a big deal and then so now if we um, now that that association association has been made if we go down here select on that oops edit type then you can see here that it's actually went in there and associated that to the proper uh, families and you can see here this is path to my instance and so um, and then up here for the default elevation you can see and then what we can do so if we put um, I don't know 201 202 then it'll um, match those up or I mean sorry if we press OK and then go down here into our nested family and then if we go edit type you'll see that those are are mapped up properly and so if this family was like set to a shared family you could schedule that family um, you could tag you could reach into it and tag it but um, uh, if those parameters were shared parameters, um, and then and then um, back to the the types. If we look at that, so here's our two parameters that we just brought in. Now this one's a nested parameter in the in the or it's a instance parameter in the nested family. And then if we go and edit this 
you'll see that it's actually a type so we can switch it to an instance uh, and map those up properly now th th that could not be the case it could be that you do want it as a type parameter um, and maybe that's majority of the time there's no option with this tool to default to whatever the nested family is so you may um, you may not even need to switch that you may just want it to be an instance parameter or a type parameter but I figured it would be some, it's worth you know worth pointing out that it does you know if it is an instance in the nested it's not going to map that um, in the host family as an instance it'll just still put it as a type so anyway um, that's kind of it um, that's the tool very simple tool uh, I, I think it's useful I'll use it uh, I'm going to continue using it and trying to um, see if I you know still see if I like it um, I'm still figuring that out I, again I don't build many families I do like the uh, if anything I do like the the, the interface um, to be to be able to easily change those uh, those parameters those parameter values um, without having to go you know to create tab and then family types but anyways I just wanted to share that um, in case you guys are building families all the time or if you're not and, and maybe this is helpful you know either way let me know leave a comment let me know if you want to hear more about tools like this you know I can go out there and try to find other ones and then talk about them a bit but uh, anyways thanks a lot for watching um, feel free to, to like share um, whatever uh, and then if you want again if you want this this uh, family ch uh, check it out below you'll find that find uh, the OneDrive link in the, the description. But thanks a lot uh, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.